The Punisher, 2004, directed by Jonathan Hensley and starring Thomas Jane, brings Marvel's gritty anti-hero to the big screen in a dark, revenge-driven tale. Following the brutal murder of his entire family, former undercover FBI agent Frank Castle, Jane, embarks on a relentless quest to dismantle the crime syndicate responsible, led by crime lord Howard Saint, played by John Travolta. This film delves deep into the cost of vengeance, portraying Castle as a man with nothing left to lose, haunted by loss, yet consumed by his need for retribution. The film's portrayal of vengeance is intense and deeply personal. Unlike typical superhero fare, Castle isn't a hero in the traditional sense, but a broken man on a warpath, driven by the trauma of witnessing his family's massacre. This raw, unrelenting thirst for vengeance is underscored by Castle's struggle with his humanity. He is tormented by his family's memory and motivated by justice rather than mere bloodlust. The film doesn't shy away from the emotional toll of his mission, giving audiences a brutal look at the cost of revenge and the destructive toll it takes on Castle's soul. Thomas Jane delivers a subdued yet powerful performance as Frank Castle, bringing an understated intensity that fits the character's trauma and grim resolve. Jane's portrayal balances Castle's inner pain with a hardened exterior, making him a complex anti-hero whose vulnerability comes through in quieter moments. John Travolta's role as the ruthless Howard Saint adds a touch of theatrical menace, though he doesn't quite reach the same depth as Jane's character. Supporting performances by Ben Foster, Rebecca Roman, and Will Patton add texture to the film's darker tone, with Patton's portrayal of Quentin Glass, Saint's cold-blooded right-hand man, especially standing out. At its core, The Punisher explores themes of justice, morality, and the thin line between hero and anti-hero. It questions whether revenge can bring any kind of closure and whether justice taken to its extremes can ever truly be righteous. Castle's transformation into the Punisher reflects a man who sacrifices his peace of mind and humanity to pursue a brutal version of justice. This thematic depth gives the film a somber edge, separating it from lighter superhero tales as it leans heavily on the cost of vengeance, the pain of loss, and the scars of violent justice. The plot centers on Castle's methodical dismantling of Howard Saint's criminal empire. As he eliminates each part of Saint's operations, Castle reveals his tactical skill and meticulous planning, contrasting with Saint's growing desperation and unraveling sanity. While the storyline may follow a predictable revenge narrative, the film adds emotional stakes and gritty realism that elevate it above typical action films. Each step of Castle's revenge brings new revelations, and his relationships with his quirky neighbors, including Spacker Dave, Foster, add moments of humanity that break up the darkness. Today's audiences may view The Punisher as an early, grounded take on the vigilante genre, setting it apart from the more polished, high-budget superhero films of recent years. While it lacks the stylistic flair of later Marvel adaptations, its commitment to a gritty, realistic aesthetic makes it a compelling standalone revenge story that resonates with those who appreciate darker anti-hero narratives. Some viewers may find its slower, methodical pace and somber tone unusual compared to the fast-paced action of modern comic book films, but the film's raw portrayal of vengeance and psychological torment remains relevant. The lack of high-tech gadgets and flashy superpowers gives it a timeless appeal, focusing instead on Castle's intensely personal journey. In conclusion, The Punisher, 2004, is a dark emotional exploration of revenge and loss, anchored by Thomas Jane's gripping performance as Frank Castle. Its grounded approach and commitment to the psychological weight of vengeance set it apart from typical superhero films, making it a memorable and enduring entry into the genre. For today's viewers, it serves as a reminder of the raw and relentless path that vigilantes tread, and it resonates with audiences looking for stories of complex, morally ambiguous heroes driven by personal pain.